In Paul's letter to the Corinthians, one of the issues he addresses is the way that people were taking communion. At that time, a love feast or a fellowship meal would often have accompanied it. Paul says that some people were gorging themselves, whilst others were being left hungry. Some were even getting drunk. Nobody waited for anybody else, nor were they sharing the provisions that they had. People ate whatever they brought for themselves, but if somebody had little, that person often went without. As a result of all this unfairness and gluttony, Paul says they were not really eating the Lord's Supper at all. They were not treating communion in the way that Jesus had instructed. Instead of remembering his sacrifice, communion had become more about self-gratification and it widened the divisions among the Corinthian church. So after explaining to them what communion should be like, Paul told them, So then, whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of sinning against the body and blood of the Lord. Everyone ought to examine themselves before they eat of the bread and drink from the cup. For those who eat and drink without discerning the body of Christ, eat and drink judgment on themselves. What Paul was suggesting is that the people carried out a heart check. Were their hearts in the right place? Were they eating the meal to remember Jesus' sacrifice and to engage in community? Were they divided amongst themselves or were they unified in Christ? Were they actually having communion? or just selfishly satisfying their own appetites. In this, the season of Lent, when we've been thinking about poverty and injustice, perhaps in this passage today there are similar questions for us to be answering too. Let's pray. Lord, thank you that we are able to examine ourselves without fear because of your sacrifice. Thank you that by the power of your spirit we can bring to you any sins revealed to us and lay them before your cross. Father, thank you that we do not have to hide from you or cover up for we are fully forgiven. Thank you that we can come now to your table with confidence. Would you help us to live in unity and to treat one another as we should? For we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.